guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to digimon master online <laughs> so uh first of all thank you again from the heart for your supporting the channel and watching the videos subscribing and liking the channel i really appreciate that and i really hope that you guys um, learned a little bit about game basics and enjoy the videos that i'm making Today uh, we're gonna talk about the closest attributes. As you can see here, we are standing next to our friend Kalumon. As I said in the previous video, you can pick uh, Jog uh, Xero's chip from him daily. So you just can come to here, talk to him, and you can pick up like five chips per day. There we go, we picked it up. Okay. Now we're gonna talk about closest. So in the previous episode we learned how to get the closest and we learned as well how can we charge uh, the expired closest today what are we gonna talk about closest we're gonna talk about attributes and the closest yeah there's an attribute in the closest actually if you don't know what i mean i'm going so fast to cut one and i'm going to do the tutorial for that so for the video i'm gonna buy a shirt and i'm um, gonna buy an attribute for for it okay so here we go so with gatamon again i'm gonna buy a t-shirt and i'm gonna buy an hp attribute so as you can see here it's ranked uh, if you just hover over it you're gonna see actually the higher the rank the rank it goes that means the higher that you can get the stats on it so i'm gonna buy one of the d there we go okay and now how can how can we apply those stuff to each other uh, before i go before i start i have to say something um, for the hat i don't know actually what the attribute can be used on the hat but i know for glasses for glasses you can use a ds attribute for the t-shirt you can use an hp attribute for the pants you can use defense attribute and for the gloves you can use attack attribute for the shoes you can use um, speed attribute there's one just called the speed speed attribute so this was a little bit quick so how can you use those two and how do you put it to each other okay so first of all it's pretty easy you can come to that center and there's a dude in here so if you talk to him uh, this is for recharging your uh, expired clothes I talked about that in previous episode but I didn't show you how to do it because I think I don't have no well I have a head actually but I don't want to recharge it again uh, so you just put it in here and put the battery and then you can recharge it or you have an instant recharge you can just put it here the battery and then you can do that you know what i'm gonna do that quick because i personally haven't recharged recharged any so i'm gonna come here and do it pretty quick here we go by the way for the inventory uh, if you want to split something you just hold shift click on it uh, for example not like this so if you hold shift Click on it and then you're gonna see here a number. Keep holding the shift button and then like choose how many do you want to separate from the others that you have. Press OK and then it's gonna be separated again. And then click on sorting and it's gonna be already it's gonna be resorted again. Alright, so I'm gonna take off the hat. I'm gonna try to, to recharge the hat. So we're gonna talk to this dude as we said. Alright, so I'm gonna go with instant recharge. I'm gonna right click on the head. It can't be recharged. <laughs> Alright, let's see with the normal recharge as well as well it can't. That's pretty weird. Okay, so cash shop items. This is not a cash shop item, this is an event item. Maybe that's why I can't recharge it already. So uh, if I tried with the event one, it's event one as well. Alright, so we're gonna skip that thing. Let's uh, try, um, let's keep on with our video. So I think the recharging is only for special clothes or customs, as you can see. For example, Agumon costume or any other costumes that you can get from uh, uh, from the cash shop. 
I think that's where you can do the recharge for them, or maybe dungeon closes. I think maybe you can do that, uh, but not for the event closes. All right, uh, so we're gonna come to the attribute management, as you can see here. Just right click on it, and then you're gonna see here it's gonna be analyzed. So it's gonna cost you like two megas for each time you scan, and here if you see the number. It's written like from 136 until 176. So it depends actually like how like the number here in the range. So if you got lucky you're gonna get the highest number and that is 176. If you don't have a luck 136 and if your luck is normal so you might get like 160, 150, something like that. So let's try and scan this. Can I wait right now? And there we go. Okay, so let's see. We got 152. Not bad, actually. So now, how can we apply this to the shirt? So if you right click on the shirt, as you can see, you're gonna see here like you have two slots in here. And you can know actually how many slots you have by just hovering over it. And you're gonna see how. How many slots do you have? So if you right click on it, like that, and then you're gonna do merge. And as you can see, this is green thing and Hikari is happy, so you merged it successfully. So how to remove it? Just left click and then deactivate it. And this is how you can remove that thing. So what does it do actually? Why did we do that? Why did we win megas? Why did we went to get closes? And why did we get an attribute and we merged it? Well, actually, it do pretty good things for the Tamer and for the Digimon as well. So maybe you're gonna see here, like, I have pretty strong Rocky Digimon because the accessory buffs and I have the closest buffs as well. So let's do here a small test. So if you press X, as you can see here is the buffs for Renamon. And then we're gonna press C as well. So you're gonna see here, if you hover over your Digimon, you're gonna see the max HP. Like the bound between you and the Digimon, uh, the accessories, the, the seals, how many seals you have opened. I'm gonna talk about the seals later on in the next video maybe. Or maybe in this video I'm gonna talk about it really quick. And um, like the bound between the Digimons that you have in your Digivice. Actually there is a thing that's called this, but yeah. So first of all, uh, as you can see right now, I have like 9539 HP. So here is the shirt. As you can see, my shirt has pretty strong attributes, HP attribute. So if I just removed it, as you can see, it didn't change that much, it just like 100 changed, but for the Tamer it changed pretty much. So if you if you see here, like the Tamer has like now 1220 HP, right click and you're gonna see I have right now 107,035 and my Digimon has increased like for example like 100 or something. It's just 100 for the Digimon and the other are for the Tamer. So that's what closes do. For that tag as well, if I remove that tag, as you can see, like it's 3,549. If I remove it, it's 3,338. 3, uh, 3, so here for the attack for the Tamer, as you can see, 121. Right click, and as you can see, it's like increased pretty much. Uh, this is a dungeon one, by the way, old shiny dungeon one. It's pretty amazing one to be um, to have, and that's how it's changed. So I think we still have time to talk about seals pretty quick. So this this was how about the clothes and how the items are. And right now we're gonna talk about seals. So what are the seals in Digimon Master Online? Seals are a cards, blue cards that you collect and then you can open the seals in order to get its power. So let's say, do you see this small Digimon on my shoulder, Elkamon? That's actually, I mastered the seal that's called Elkamon seals. So for the seals, you have like a couple stages. You have the normal one, and then you have a bronze, silver, and the gold. 
the gold is a mastered one so if we come to the favorite i actually put all the open seas on the favorite so i can keep tracking on which seas do i need more and more and which one do i really don't want to do it right now so for the seals they have like the same as uh, the tribute of your Digimon. There's an attack seal, there's an HP seals, attack speed seals, there's none of them right now. There's a critical seals, hit rate seals, defense, and blocking and evade. So there's actually seals for everything besides uh, attack speed. So each seal has its own thing to do. So for example, if we come to El Common, as you can see, mastered, I mastered the seal, I got 100 defense more. This table shows you like how much you can receive from your seals. For example, I receive like additional 362 more defense from my seals that I have. So let's say something. First of all, how to farm the seals and how the seals work. So first of all, you have to go. It's when you when you just do any quest or anything like that, you're gonna have like seals like this one. As you can see, those are seals, and those are seal opener. So I'm gonna try to open. I don't know. Just let's see here. Okay, Solomon. I'm gonna pick up 50 seals from them. I'm gonna open 50 seals, Solomon. All right. So here we are. So each 50 seals is requires you one seal opener. Seal opener, you can receive so, uh, seal opener sometimes, not always, sometimes from the event, and you can buy them from the shop and from players. This way, you can get your seal openers. And for the seals, are pretty easy to do. Just killing the Digimon until they drops, like this one, these cards, green cards, or. Well, until you see like they dropped something and sometimes you can pick up the, the box and you're gonna find there's the seals so this is how you pick up this is how you farm seals so we're gonna talk about that so right now if you press D on your keyboard you're gonna have a table in here it's gonna show you a table this is called the seal master table as you can see I don't have all the seals opened because there's like hard seals to get, for example, Megamon, and uh, those those seals are pretty hard to get actually. And there's the other way you can really get from card, monster card. When you just go to the summon square and you do your monster card. I don't think I have any monster card. Maybe like this one. This one is scannable, so let's let's scan it pretty quick. All right, so here we are. Let's scan it. So we got monster card level one. Um, you can see here the level is from 10 to 20 for the Digimons. It's pretty easy to do as well. So if you went down and use the card, kill the Digimon, pick up the seals, and then you found a couple of seals. This is how you can get the seals. Right now, if you right click on the seals, as you can see, right click, I have 50. I always recommend not to open less than 50 seals because, like, each seal opener is gonna use 50 seals only. And if you want to open one seal, you're gonna waste one seal opener. So, it's pretty not that good thing. Besides, if the seals are pretty rare and so hard to get, like, for example, raid ra seals and normal seals but if you are really in need to open the seals then just open but don't waste it all like for example those one are pretty hard to get or they are uh, like so many so much expensive to get actually those seals so you're just gonna skip that and just gonna do something like that so 50 seals right now if you press T so the seals are for Solomon this is Solomon you're gonna see if you hover it over you're gonna see like Right now, uh, the effect is 40, per 40 HP more. As you can see here, the seal rem remaining until next level is 150. So if I get 150 seals, that means I'm gonna need the three seal openers, and I'm gonna receive 100. I'm gonna receive 80 HP, 80, 80 HP instead of 40 HP. That means I'm gonna receive like the double. So if you right now.
you may not receive anything. You can see we didn't receive anything. We just need 100 more, and then we can receive 80 of the HP. So, quick thing as well. There's two stuff. There's two things about the seals you have to know about that. So there's something called seal opener and something else called seal closer. So what the difference? Uh, seal opener, seal opener are to open the seal and use it and activate the seals that you have. So there they are. As you can see, seal closer and seal opener. And the seal opener, as you can see, you can buy it from the cash shop or you can just go buy it from players and sometimes there's uh, like an event where you can get free seal openers so like for now seal openers uh, seal openers are only to activate the seals as you can see and seal closer are to deactivate the seals so if you if you want to deactivate the seal and retrieve the card or if you want to but to sell the seals so i'm gonna use like for every for every 50 you're gonna use one as well i think so you're gonna use one and then the seal is gonna be removed from your table and the effect is gonna be removed as well and then you can sell the seal or i don't know what you're gonna want to do with that but i really don't recommend to sell the seals or remove the the, uh, the activate seals already because you're gonna lose the buffs that you're gonna receive from the seals and your digimon is gonna lose a little bit of of the additional buffs that it can have received as well so this was pretty quick one so if you want to get like this small digimon you really have to waste too many seal opener like i did and the quick thing to do as well uh, don't do like the first thing i did i just uh, focused on one seal and i wanted to open this seal and then i said i'm gonna open all i'm gonna master all the seals it's pretty hard to do and it's gonna take like too long time to, to farm seals and to buy the seals and it's gonna use like too many seal openers so the thing that i recommend just open like from 250 until 500 seals that's gonna be enough from each so you're gonna get like more better additional stuff like that and if you if you just have time you have too many seal openers you don't have to do anything you don't you don't do anything or import you can just go farm seals and master master them so you can get like more and stronger uh, buffs from it so always don't open uh, less than 50 seals as a starting and then when you want to master just master it slowly or if you want just uh, go farm seals until five, 250 or 500 farm the seals or buy it from players and then open it so you can get pretty good uh, effects as well so this small digimon is when you see when you master a seal you're gonna see it, it's gonna be in, co in gold so if you do that you're gonna just right click and then you're gonna see here how to do it that's how you have like small digimon in here and you can see there's people who has small digimons like this one and yeah you can keep on looking like this one so this this is how you can get this small digimon next to you i really like to have a small digimon on my shoulder as well as a digimon as a partner so this was the video for today i hope you guys enjoyed that Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you have any question as well, uh, just tell me down in the comments. I'm gonna be really happy. I'm gonna be glad to hear your opinion and to know what what do you want me to change in the videos that I make. Or write down to write down to me on the Discord. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that. And see you next time.